Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to show you some of the flowers that I've been making using uh, some of the different Cricut cartridges, especially Create a Critter. And I've also been using uh, the different punches, the flowered punches, uh, to make uh, Prima type flowers. Here's just a sample of some of the ones that I've been working on. Uh, some of the ones that I used, I used uh, my homemade glimmer mist, and I used some. Of the, I used some of the Tim Holtz mass, and then I used the punch and punch the flowers out. A flower design. I saw this video on the internet, and she was showing how she did some, but I kind of like changed mine up a little bit. I also decorated some of them with little pearls, um, not pearls, but beads. In the middle of them all I used was the uh, glossy accents in the middle because it dries clear and it holds the beads in place and some of them I just used um, glue with uh, some fine glitter on there a lot of them have uh, the glimmer mist on there the homemade glimmer mist on there now I'm going to show you how I make them okay I'm going to start with the large one this is from a punch uh, the punches by EK and it comes in all different sizes and what you do with this one after you've punched it then every two scallops you're going to cut a little slit in it not all the way through but a nice little slit you're going to count two and cut a slit do not do not have your slits touch in the middle Okay, now the two that are made like a heart, you're going to fold them in half and give it a little crease. You're going to fold them towards the front of the flower. Increase them about halfway, almost down to the center. Now, turn it over back, lay it down on a piece of foam. This foam came with a stamping kit that I had. It's so that when you stamp on it, you get a good stamp. So lay it on your back, and then I take an embossing tool. I have two different kinds that I use. Uh, one is by Chatterbox, and I don't know who this other one's by. And I take the larger end... And I first go around the top. I go around the top of each scallop. And then the, I do mine a little different. I go down to the middle. And then I fill it in. And what you're doing is you're actually embossing that piece. And I do this around every scallop. Okay, after you've gone around all of the edges, I usually take the larger end of the chatterbox one and I go around it to kind of smooth all of the other ones, my, my seam line. Some people may like to keep them in there. It gives it more definition. I'm not taking them all out. I'm just smoothing it over a little bit. Then after I turn it on to the front, I take the larger end again and I start in the center and I start working my way out. And when you're pushing it in, it'll start to turn a little bit. And it's kind of like lifting some of the, the layers over on top of the other layer. And it's giving an indent, which causes the sides to come up. When I'm done with that, I take the glue. I mean, I take my ink a little a shade darker and go around all the edges. And that's how you make that flower. 
Now for the next flower, is this one. This is from uh, a Cricut cartridge. This is the flower the way it looks. This is how I started off. This is how I started off. This is how I ended up. Okay. And this one is like this one. This is how this flower started off. This is how this flower ended up. That's how it started off. That's how it ended up. Now, this flower is just the same. I take the larger end of this wooden one and I go around the edges of this one, the same as I did the other one. Go around each scallop on this one, coming all the way down to the middle circle. Okay. And once I get done with that one, same thing, you flip it back over. Take the larger end, put it in the center of this one, and kind of wiggle it around, and the sides will start to pop up. That's how that one became lifted instead of flattened. Same thing, I'm going to ink around the edges, and then you can decorate it any way you want to. I also decided to give the leaves a try. So here's some leaves. I cut leaves out in different sizes from the Cricut. And all you do is you take your larger end of your stick and I start off by putting a vine down the middle of it I don't do a straight one and then I go around the edges I go around all the edges here like that and then I put the veins that go out from the leaf And that's how I did these. And you can see this is the one side, or you can use the other side the other way. Just gives it a little bit of accent. And you can, I also ink the edges of my leaves also. And that's exactly how I did this flower. I made the three different flower sizes. I inked around each of the edges. I inked around each of the edges of the flowers, then I put a little glitter, and then what I did was I used a, a punch, and I punched a hole in the center of each of the flowers, and then just put a little brad in there, and that's why I made that flower. Hope you enjoy the video.